second album that you came out with, right? Um, Checkmate presents the game, right? Or game related. Yeah. You yeah. had you had yeah. way more features on that one, right? You had like, um, well, your team, Defenders of the Faith, um, yeah. Romana O, and Royce the yeah. Five Nine. Where you met? Who you yeah. met? You mentioned you met from the first album. Exactly. Yeah. So yeah, Royce is on Raw. That's one of my biggest songs. Oh, probably in the w. States. Exactly. So in the States, you know what I'm saying? Like in Canada, obviously it's Northern Touch, but in the States, anywhere I go, it's going to be raw. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, uh, Royce also put that on on one of his albums called Build and Destroy, right? So the song got around and a lot of people, you know what I mean, have heard that one. So big up that. Uh, And I'm sorry, before you continue the story, even um, just for on Royce, he gave you a fucking ridiculous, ridiculous verse bro like he did not take it light bro bro there's even history behind that verse bro like he wrote that verse for eminem bro and, it sounded and, like it was and, going somewhere so somewhere in the m direction and i was like holy shit nah bro he he wrote that verse originally for renegade jay-z and eminem oh, like yeah. and then Like, bro, that's that's nuts. Right. Like, you know what? I hate to be this dude, bro. But if I start dropping names of who I've been next to and mentioned next to, bro, it's it's retarded, bro. (laughs) I'm steps away from greatness all the time. Anyways, if you listen to that first, that first actually has been spat spat before by Eminem on some like mixtape shit. So no, no, no. Uh, You just fucking put the light bulb in my head because I heard the unreleased version with Royce on it. And now it just clicked to me. That is the verse, bro. That's crazy. And then we were super lucky for him to be like, we was like, let's do a song. And then he had that in the bag. And then we was like, I, and then he just fixes it at the end, you know, where he adds the, as concise as a check, mate, the end of your life. So prepare for your rest day. Raw. You know what I'm saying? Lit, right? Bro, <laughs> I'm, my hip hop, like historian brain, like I have that, the, the head blown emoji right now. Like, I can't believe what you're telling me right now, fam. Cause I never really <laughs> caught the play until you just told me right now in this conversation. Cause I hear the two verses. I hear the words. Yeah. yeah. And it didn't well, click you know to what? me. You're right though. You're a hip hop historian. So you would, would have, you know, heard that unreleased version. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Royce has had a long career too and things happened with him. With, there's reasons why that, you know, he wasn't on that song. I know the story but, uh, behind that, yes. Yeah, and, and we were grateful benefactors of that and that's another reason why Raw is like a, you know, it's like a fabled song. <sighs> that's a, yo, that's some hip-hop jewel that you just dropped there. Like that, I don't think anybody's ever known this, fam. Hey, spam, you know what I'm saying? Like, people got to ask. But like I said, I ain't really out here interviewing hard, bro, you know? Yeah.